The decisions that you make today can have an enormous impact on what happens to you in the future. It's kind of stressful, right? It's kind of high stakes. You can choose to take certain courses. Who do you go on a date with, right? The good news is the decisions you do today do not have any impact on your past. There may have been good things that happened to you, less good things that happened to you in the past, but you can't change them in any way. As a philosopher and a physicist, what I want to know is, why is that? What is the origin of this asymmetry between how we can impact the future and the past? It's not to be found in the fundamental laws of physics. The fundamental laws of physics treat the future and the past on an absolutely equal footing. So something else is going on. And we kind of think we know the basic answer. The basic answer is what is called the arrow of time. There's something called entropy, the disorderliness of the system or even of the universe. And that disorderliness started very low. Our universe started near the Big Bang 14 billion years ago in a very, very orderly state. And ever since, it's becoming ever more disorderly. That's where the difference comes between past and future. The work, the research here yet to be done is, why is it that that increasing entropy, increasing disorderliness, has effects like you can affect the future but not the past. You can remember the past but not the future. We all grow older in the same direction of time. It's a very exciting area that brings together top flight ideas from cosmology, fundamental physics, and philosophical questions. It's an exciting time to be thinking about these issues.